Hello boaters. I was uh, struggling connecting my Hummingbird to my standard Horizon Explorer 1850XL. I thought I'd made a, make a video for you guys. Anybody interested in uh, the safety of having your marine radio connected to GPS in case of an emergency or assistance or who knows what kind of useful stuff will come from this. So, you see, my marine radio has got the GPS points. If that sucker isn't connected, it beeps after 10 minutes and lets you know that it has no GPS signal. I guess you could buy an external GPS puck, but I didn't. I'm having a fish finder. So, uh, I'm going to simplify this for you. You're going to have this is a Helix 7 uh, G3N. Uh, and then you're going to have to purchase this Hummingbird. GPS connector and then you're gonna sort through this is the instructions from the hummingbird connector and right to the page you need so essentially you're gonna go the black from the hummingbird to the green on the marine radio and the white from the hummingbird to the yellow on the marine radio and I'll show you a little explanation of the boat so the yellow on the marine radio is a GPS in to the output of the fish finder, which is the white wire. And then the green from the marine radio is uh, the negative GPS input, which is just gonna go to a common ground on the hummingbird. I guess it's an issue after I spoke with the standard horizon, a lot of fish finders don't have it. Uh, NEMA input so you just connect it to the ground which is the same thing as if you were to connect your black wire which is ground on the fish finder or I guess you could take it to any ground but I think that'll help out anybody who's interested in getting this done I know I'm ecstatic I've been frustrated in trying to sort through this and nothing against hummingbird but the customer service kind of spun me in a different direction but this should straighten it out and hopefully they're watching so good luck to you, happy boating, and uh, I hope this adds a little safety to everybody's uh, lives and maybe helps somebody. If everybody's interested in the mast I installed on my uh, 1775 Lund, I just used a uh, sport track uh, hooked into the rail system and a little Velcro on the back to the uh, cleat. Okay, thanks again.